Hello and welcome to Normal Game Couch and welcome to episode 36 of the Manlith Operation. This is the planned finale. Uh, 1.3 is something that, uh, you know, is planned to happen eventually. But I don't have any plans to stream that. I may decide to on down the line, but that is not the current plan. So for now, this is the finale of the Mandleth operation. Um, so here's Raiko, at last, standing atop his castle, looking over all he surveys. He's got his epic weapons in hand, his epic tools in hand. And, uh... We're going to go open up that mystery chest that I've been teasing you guys with for a couple episodes. Let's go down and get what's in that chest. Help us with the finale. Boom. Boss summon items. I'm sure a lot of you saw this coming. But, uh, yeah. Um, by the way, I made a silly mistake. I spent so much time, so much time trying to get a second clother voodoo doll, uh, not realizing that this this item does not consume when you use it. But hey, doesn't it look pretty in the in the in the chest? <laughs> so we'll go ahead and grab that stuff. I guess we'll put the second clother voodoo doll in storage since we ultimately won't need it. One of the, it's, I think it's the only boss summon item that uh, doesn't consume when you use it. Well, you use it passively, so that's why. But everything else does consume. So yeah, for tonight we're kind of doing like a, a boss rush mode. Uh, the plan is to fight 18 boss fights. Uh, and I have all the summon items I need, and you know, we're going to go fight Plantera and stuff like that. So... Uh, I mentioned Plantera specifically because Plantera doesn't have an, uh, a summon item that you can carry around with you. We'll have to seek those out. Uh, so I logged in here at high noon. We're just going to wait for it to be night. And then we're going to start start things off simple. Um, let me grab some health potions. Let me zoom in a bit where we usually are. All right, grab some health potions here. Throw one there for quick stacking later. All right, man. This is it. Let's do this. Um, so we're going to start off uh, the first night by fighting all the pre-hard mode stuff. All those bosses. We're going to do this at the arena. And since we're out here... I did finish the tower. I want to show you guys the tower. I prettied it up a little and decorated it inside and out. I dug up all the uh, all the background dirt that was here. So it kind of looks a little prettier. I, I fixed the top. That looks a lot better. The uh, battlements and, and whatnot look a lot better. So yeah, basically just everything looks a lot better. And the reason we needed the, uh, the clother to live out here was because... In order to summon Skeletron, we have to kill the Clother. So let me just put his uh, voodoo doll in my... What don't I need for this boss fight? Probably won't need that. I'll put that there. So now we have the Clother voodoo doll in our equipment slots. And that will allow us to kill him. And when we kill him, it'll summon Skeletron... Not Prime, regular Skeletron. Skeletron Vanilla. And we're also going to fight uh, the Eye of Cthulhu and the Brain of Cthulhu. And I'm almost tempted to summon all this stuff simultaneously. Just to see if we can do it. I mean, we should be able to. I mean, this stuff is so far below us now. It's not even funny. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we have all non-essential stuff out of our hot bar. And we're just, at this point, waiting for it to be nighttime. And I think we'll start off with a bang when it is nighttime. We'll kill the, uh, we'll kill the clother. That'll summon Skeletron. And then I'll immediately summon Cthulhu's brain and Cthulhu's, or Cthulhu's eye and Cthulhu's brain. 
and then we, so this is just to start off with we're gonna fight all the hard mode bosses too well not all the hard mode bosses but the ones that we've fought on the stream so far so we've kind of been gearing up for this for like the last 35 episodes and here we finally are this is the arena that I built in case uh, this is you're starting with the last episode which I know it's people sometimes do when it comes to uh, Let's Plays. Um, this is pretty much set up so enemies automatically die. Uh, these are uh, enemy pressure plates. They don't trigger when I step on them. They only trigger when enemies step on them. But I still get hit by the traps, the projectiles and stuff, so I still got to be careful around here. I usually don't go in this lower track. And I found out on the previous episode not to stand on this. Even though I don't trigger uh, this teleporter, if someone else triggers it and I'm standing on it, I get teleported inside this death box. So, got to watch out for that. Okay, the sun is almost set. And uh, head over to the clother. get my uh, Terra Blade out. This is my, my most recently acquired weapon. And uh, I've heard a lot of people say it's it's their favorite in-game weapon. I mean, it seems okay. I still prefer the uh, Vampire Knives myself. And I'm growing quite fond of the Rainbow Gun. So when I see zombies, I know it's officially nighttime. Normally I'd be able to tell because the music changes, but I have the music toggled off. So wait till we see zombies. Should be showing up any moment. Get out of here, blue slime. Alright, it's, uh, the sun is set. But I don't want to kill the, uh, the clother yet, because I don't want him to die and not have the boss summon, because it's still technically daytime. Gotta wait for the zombies to show up. I mean, I guess what I could do is try to summon the other ones. And if they work, then I know Skeletron will work too. Let's try it out. Nope, doesn't work yet. All right, man. Oh, I just heard a zombie. Okay, we're on. Let's do this. And there's Skeletron. Some in the eye. We can summon things simultaneously, right? Yeah, there we go. And summon the brain. Can't summon the brain. Oh, there it goes. No? Can't. I guess you can only summon two at a time. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> I was looking to, uh, to fight all three of them at once. That would have been great. Alright, how about the brain now? Can we do that now? Do we have to summon the brain? Maybe we have to summon the brain underground. That could be. I, f I know I fought the brain above ground, though. Let's summon the eye again. I'll kill him with the, uh, the rainbow gun this time. out of mana. It's alright. So yeah, things are only going to get harder from here. Don't let this throw you, man. I know I fought the brain above ground. Well, let's see. Did our clother regen yet? 
Let's go see if he regened. Probably not. No. Hey, he dropped his hat. Can I take that? Right on! <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's go underground. To the, uh, the deep crimson. And see if we can summon the brain a couple times. The deep crimson. No, it went too far. It would be around here, right? Oh, passed it. Get out of there. All right, let's see, down here. I mean, I, I really feel like I've fought the, uh, the brain above ground, but... This is our a really early arena. Yeah, there's the brain. Guess we gotta do it underground. Kinda strange, cause I totally remember fighting it above ground, but... Eh, what do I know? And he's already, uh, enraged, yeah. So yeah, these guys are easy, but I'm just kind of, I'm doing it all, you know? This is the, uh, the finale here. So I'm doing everything. Doesn't matter if it's easy, I'm doing everything. And like I said, we're going to get into some harder stuff here in a bit. Let's head back to the arena. I don't think the um, the clother respawned, but maybe he did. What's our inventory looking like? Okay. I guess this would just be like the warm up, you know. Oh, look at all that stuff. <laughs> That's why I like building an arena like this, man. Makes so much gold off of it. Yeah, he's not back yet. Well, let's see. We killed the eye twice. I really would like to... Uh, To kill Skeletron again, but we gotta wait for this guy to revive so we can kill him. Sometimes after NPCs die, they move back into the main house, and I don't know why they do that. Let's check housing. Yeah, see, he's not even assigned here anymore. Let's go back to the house and see if he's at the house. Clother. I don't see him. He's pretty easy to pick out, and I didn't get the notification that he respawned, or if I did get that notification, I didn't notice it. Yeah, I don't see him on our list there. Guy needs to respawn so I can kill him again. <laughs> I want to take off his hat, too. I'm not really too keen on that hat, you know? Let's stick that in our costume chest. It works for him, it doesn't work for me. Picked up uh, Eye of Cthulhu trophy, that's pretty cool. So, when, uh, when day breaks, we're going to fight some more stuff. In fact, we can probably go after... Let's go after the Wall of Flesh. Might as well. I mean, we're going to do it anyway. Put this back there. Alright, wall of flesh. We need to have this guy up there. Okay. We'll go down our elevator. A lot of this is kind of just to be ceremonious. 
You know, like this isn't necessarily a challenge for us anymore at this point, but it's uh, fun nonetheless, you know. And like I said, we're, we'll get into some hard mode bosses here in a bit. In fact, after we fight Wall of Flesh, we'll go after Plantera and uh, the Golem. All right, Red Devil. Want to drop one of those feathers? No? Okay. We can, uh, yeah. Where do we want to drop this at? We have a place over here, right? I can never remember which side is better to drop this thing on. We could drop it up here, right? Or maybe we can drop it in here. I don't really have a, like, preferred place to drop it. Alright, Wall of Flesh. Let's do this. Hit him with the rainbow gun, just for kicks. Look at all that D.O.T. it's doing, I love it. There you go. Got a trophy from him. Pretty cool. Alright, I guess we'll go after... Uh, I'm not going to worry about that, that box. Uh, let's go after Plantera. Boss rush mode, man. I mean, as, as much as we can make it, so... <laughs> you know? Plantera. Alright, so I'm just kind of looking for any bulb. I mean, here's here's our Plantera arena. I probably passed a bulb coming in. I, I wasn't really looking for one when I when I jumped into this. Terra bulb. There's one. All right, get our pickaxe out. There's a life fruit, and we don't need it. But all right, Plantera, there you are. Follow me up, yo. Take you to the arena. <laughs> Your death is assured, friend. I think the uh, rainbow gun actually re be really good for this fight. Cause check out what I can check out what I can do, right? I can put that down. Whoop! I can put this down like that. Well, like that. Then like that. Keep going back and forth like that. Although I think I'm just gonna get him with these knives. The uh, rainbow gun method was a bit too laborious for my tastes. The knives work just fine. Uh, I don't think I've ever killed this guy with the knives before. I usually use the mega shark on this guy. I don't. E I didn't even bring the mega shark, man, this time. And I'm not using any buff potions. You know, it's all just. Uh, Straight tank, it's tanking him, dude. You know, just tanking this guy. All right, let's see if we can take him out without any buffs and with a different weapon than we usually use here. Guide came back. Well, that's nice. All right, now this is where we start. Ah, this is where we start our uh, teleport thing that we do. Ah. This does go a lot smoother with the, uh, with the Mega Shark. Ah, 
Ah! <laughs> Almost got him. There he is. All right. Leaf blower. I heard that's pretty good. Well, I'm not like a mage class, so wouldn't be too good for me, but it's good if you're playing a magic class. All right, so the guide is back. Let's see what time of day it is here. We can go fight the golem, maybe? Yeah, it's uh, still early in the day. We can fight the golem in the day, I believe. Let's quick stack some of this stuff. No? Anything I can quick stack. There's some stuff. Okay. I'd rather put this stuff in the chest. Well, I'll, I'll look at all this stuff later and deal with it then. Book of Skulls? That might have been something once. Not really too uh, too much to me now. Oop, don't want to put that in. Move that across. Oh, that's an extra one. Yeah, we don't need that. We don't actively need that. All right. Let's uh, let's head out and try to uh, defeat the golem. Back to our arena. Let's pick up this gold coinage. All right. Yep. Yeah, I was pretty sure you could fight the golem during the day. I think I did before, actually. Clothers back. Try switching things up. Get that combo ticking away at him. It's pretty good. The head can't be damaged, so I gotta take the body out. Yep. There you go. Alright, our friend the Clother is back, but we can't summon uh, Skeletron. Oh look, the guide is here now. <laughs> kind of a, a kind of frustrate frust frustrates me a bit how uh, they they move around between apartments. Like I don't want the guide here necessarily, but you know who I do want here, the Clother. Can we? Is this the room? And move the Clother in. Where is he? Assigned to room. Show room flags. Yeah, okay. Alright, so hopefully when we're ready to kill him off again, he'll be next to the arena so we can fight Skeletron in the right place. Now, I know the guide is alive, so let's go uh, do the wall of flesh again. What am I hung up on? Okay. 
Wall of flesh. And once night falls again, we're going to start fighting some uh, hard mode bosses. I mean, technically, the, the Golem and Plantera are hard mode bosses. So, technically, we've already fought a couple. Where's the pit we used last time? That one up there? i go for the same one again. Get out of my way. Clockwork rifle. Got plenty of those. Probably just end up selling it. Alright, let's go back up to the surface. Let's get out of this mushroom biome so we can see what time of day it is. It is, uh, it's past noon. I guess we should be uh, gearing up for some more hard mode stuff, since night is almost upon us. Okay, make some room in our inventory. That guide came back around quick. Usually they take a bit longer than that. keep those out. I don't want to quick stack those in the uh, in the safe by accident. Okay, that seems pretty good for now. Alright, let's head back out to the uh, arena. Put this guy back in our inventory there so that we can kill him off. And to kill time, I guess maybe we'll fight the golem again. And just stand in one place and just go ham on him. You know what I'm saying? It's getting his health down pretty quick, actually. And mine stays up because of the vampire knives. This guy's not even a thing anymore, man. I think I was trying too hard last time. I mean, I can straight up just take this damage, you know? Doesn't hurt all that much. Yeah, I, I, I don't even really care about the damage, man. Alright. Works for me. <laughs> Alright, and when night falls, I'd like to uh, summons a powerful boulder. That's pretty cool, but we don't need that right now. When night falls, I'd like to do one each of the mechanical eye, the mechanical worm, and the mechanical skull. I don't know, like, uh, I don't know if we can do, like, all three at once. I don't know if I'm geared for that. Like, I'm geared for a lot of things, but I don't know if we can do all three at once. Maybe we'll try it. I mean, maybe I'll trigger one, and if it goes well, like, if, it, if everything seems to be going okay, we'll trigger the other one, and then we'll trigger the other one after that. Clother hasn't relocated to, uh, 
tower yet. Is he still over there at the castle? Uh, oh yeah, he's kind of like off to the side there. Maybe he's trying to find his way over here. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yep, so once night falls, we'll uh, do the the same thing we started off with, but with the hard mode versions, the mechanical versions of everything. So we got the mechanical eye, which summons the twins. That's two eyeballs, and they're pretty hard, actually. Like, even now, they're pretty hard. We got the mechanical worm, which is not as difficult, but still should not be underestimated. And then we got the... Uh, the mechanical worm, by the way, is, is named uh, summons the destroyer. And then we have the mechanical skull, which summons Skeletron Prime, who uh, actually killed me not too many episodes ago, so he's still kind of difficult. But I think we'll be okay. I was thinking about summoning all three just to see how we do. Um, the interesting thing about that tactic is that if you're using a weapon like the Vampire Knives, uh, being able to uh, target so many things and pretty much hit something with a, a knife, uh, like each knife every time you throw it, because there's so much crazy action on the screen at once, uh, kind of keeps you healed. Not to mention the fact that the Destroyer uh, drops uh, all kinds of healing items as you kill them, so... That's actually like a tactic that I, I've heard several people talking about is like, oh, you got to fight the twins? Be sure to summon the destroyer simultaneously because he'll keep you alive. So yeah, here we go. I'm going to try summoning all three and we'll just see how that goes. Oh, I thought that was a zombie. That was just a regular old mummy. It's not quite nighttime yet. It looks like it, but okay, there we go. One, two, and three. All three summoned. Here we go. Want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Oh, buddy! <laughs> Crazy! Oh my god! I've never seen this! Ah! Uh, I mean, I'm keeping my health up, so I guess that's something. Let's get some rainbow action out here. Let's debuff these guys. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. Debuff everybody, man. Wow! This is crazy! More debuff. This is finale material right here, my friends. <laughs> awesome. Ouch. I debuff everybody when I can. Oh, that destroyer is hurting me. My health seems to be doing pretty good, like it's not even going down. Alright, now here we go. This is when it starts to get nuts. We got acid spraying at me. That's not good. More debuff. Yep, it's starting to get a little hectic, man. I gotta watch out, it's that acid. If something is gonna take me out, it's gonna be that acid. I gotta get rid of these twins. They're the thing that's, that's causing me the, the most distress right now.
Ah, get out of there. I think I almost got the twins out of the picture. Ah, man, I can't get out of that. The destroyer was like wrapping around me. Destroyer is out. That's good and bad. It's good because it's one less boss, but his drops were probably helping to keep me alive. Almost got the twins out. More debuff. Twins are out. All right. All that's left is Skeletron Prime. I don't know what time of night it is. Hopefully it doesn't dawn, because then we'll lose the spawn here. That's pretty epic, man. That's the first time I've ever done that. I've heard of other people doing it, but like, every time that comes up in a Let's Play, I skipped that part because I didn't want to spoil that for myself. That's pretty awesome. Alright, get down here, man. Died all the way up there. Ugh. <laughs> Gotta get those souls. Right on, dude. That was awesome. I'd like to do that again. And get one more uh, night in the game, maybe, and do that again. Because that was awesome. Never was really put in any kind of real danger, either. Like, that was kind of surprising. Let's go, uh... I want to go kill Plantera again, I think. Where's our safe? Did we leave our safe at the house? We must have left our safe at the house. It's kind of strange. 36 episodes in, I've never forgotten the safe. Yeah, there it is. I've never forgotten the safe of the piggy bank. It finally happened. Alright. Let's make some room here. Mummy banner. So I kind of lost count. <laughs> I was a, I was going for uh, 18 boss battles in one episode, and we still got some more left. I don't know how many we got uh, done so far, but uh, we're going to do that thing with all three of the uh, mechanical bosses at least one more time. But I want to wait for the next uh, the next nightfall because I don't want to like start it now because there's we'd probably run out of night, you know. I can't tell where the, uh, yeah, see the moon's almost, almost off there, so it's almost dawning. Let's go fight Plantera again. Something's hitting me. Yeah, that was awesome, man. That was really cool. Let's go fight Plantera again. Uh come back. I'd like to fight Skeletron one more time. And, uh... Why am I walking there, dude? Let's teleport there. And then we'll do that, uh... Three bosses at the same time thing again, because that was awesome. Do I have shoes on? Yeah, let's get those off. <laughs> it's like, where those shoes come from? Alright. Looking for any, uh, any Plantera bulb. Could be anywhere down here. I 
I love it when they spawn right next to my arena, though. That's fantastic. Does not look like that's going to be the case this time. Maybe we'll zoom out so we can get a better view of the surrounds. There's one. Let's see if we can make it back to the uh, arena. Follow me, Plantera. Walk. <laughs> it's a bad joke that 90s people will get. Zoom back in. I don't like being zoomed that far out. Wait. I don't want to get lost down here. Okay, pretty much just straight up at this point. Did I lose him? Come on, you're so slow. Should have been hitting him with that this whole time. Alright, come on, any day now. rush mode. Awesome, dude. That was a lot of fun, dude. All three mechanical bosses at the same time. Ah! Ah! So many pink spikes. Those are what get you, man. Plantera is a pushover. What kills you are those pl pink spikes he throws at you. Why am I not... There we go. Uh. You hear that, Plantera? I called you a pushover, yo. What you gonna do about it? Nice. Temple key. <laughs> yeah, because we totally need that now. <laughs> Alright, man. So, let's see, uh, who else did I want, anyone else I wanted to kill? Did the Wall of Flesh a couple times, did Plantera a couple times, did the Golem a couple times, and I'm being attacked. Those tortoises, man, those still mess you up if you're not careful. Um, did uh, Cthulhu's Eye a couple times, did the Brain a couple times, we still, I still want to do Skeletron one more time. And then we got all the, uh, all the mechanical stuff to do one more time. Alright, so basically just Skeletron and all the mechanical bosses. What time of day is it? Alright, so it's still morning, so we still gotta wait a little bit before we can summon those guys again. Let's do a little bit of inventory management then. I'm more effective at this than I thought I was going to be. I, I allotted myself way much more time to do this stuff. And uh, it's just kind of flying by, dude. I mean, you know, at, at this point of progression in the game, none of these guys are really all that difficult. But I still thought it was going to take longer than this. So many health potions. Alright, so we're gonna pop this.
this and this got our health potions up we don't need that oh you know what I've been doing this this whole time well we're gonna need <laughs> I realize I've been doing this this whole time without my uh, my gear uh, but we're gonna need that clother voodoo doll in there to uh, to kill the clother one more time to fight Skeletron again gotta remember to switch that thing back in before we do the uh, the three boss fight again I'm trying to think of any busy work I can do while we're waiting for the sun to set don't forget the safe again spent 36 episodes not forgetting the safe or the piggy bank once and then twice in one episode. The last episode, the finale, I forget it once and almost twice. I wonder if it's snowing hard enough to get the uh, the ice golem out here. Probably not. I think it needs to be snowing a little harder for that. I think it needs to be blizzarding. It's not blizzarding. Well, maybe we can go down into the dungeon. Like, I don't want to spend too much time getting sidetracked. But maybe we'll go down to the dungeon and make a little bit of money at our money-making machine that I highlighted on the previous episode. thing makes money pretty fast. <laughs> I guess we'll wait till that paladin... That paladin's kind of a boss in and of itself, so... I guess that paladin kind of counts for our boss rush mode. So wait till he's dead, we'll go down, collect our spoils, and then we'll head back up. And, uh, prepare for the, uh... The final fight. That's right, Paladin. Get dead. It's more than halfway down. There he goes. Alright, I'll wait for it to clear out down there and then we'll run down and get our spoils and uh, do one more epic boss fight. Man, clear out down there already. Jeez. Gold. Armor polish. Man, I remember armor polish used to be the bane of my existence. I did not have it for the longest time, though I needed it so badly, and I farmed for it so much. Never got it. Now I have so much of the stuff, I don't know what to do with it. Well, I just sell it at this point. Alright. Well, it's only halfway done with the day. Jeez. <sighs> See, it looks like it's night here, because this is... We're above a mushroom biome, and it's like perpetual night inside the mushroom biome. Speaking of mushrooms, it's been forever since we harvested these. Did our clother ever get out to the tower? Yes, he did. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I like to keep my uh, magic mirror in my uh, inventory as opposed to my hot bar up top here because I don't want to accidentally use it during like a boss fight or something. That's actually happened a few times. 
I don't know if that's ever happened during the stream, but it sucks when it happens because, you know, you uh, you don't finish the boss fight first and foremost, but B, you lose the summon, and uh, that sucks. All right, and just to FYI, um, <laughs> I'm not making excuses here. In, in case I suck during the boss fight, but the, there's the sticker on the back of my PlayStation 4 controller that's peeling off. It actually started a couple weeks ago. I just decided to ignore it, but it's getting worse and worse, and now I have adhesive all over my hand. It figures that this would happen during the finale, right? It's kind of messing me up. I keep on like wiping it off here with my uh, with my shirt because I don't have anything else. Uh, all right. Hey, man, you know what? I, I aspire to be like a professional. So uh, I'm not going to let it get to me, man. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to represent. Show must go on. All right. Getting ready for the final showdown. wait for uh, wait for the sun to set the reason that there's so much downtime like I said is because I kind of was a bit more efficient at this than I thought I would be I'm not patting myself on the back or saying like I'm so skilled or anything it's it's simply the point of progression that I'm at you know it's got nothing to do with with uh, any kind of skill or anything like that. I mean, I'm I I, I suppose I, I would be accused of being modest here, but it, you know it's the truth. I mean, the progression is what's beating these bosses, not me. I, I wonder if in the next Terraria game, because they're making another one, I wonder if they'll have an item that lets you, like, time travel. So, like, oh, you want it to be night? Just travel forward in time till it's night. Or make it so that boss uh, summon items are not dependent on what time of day it is. I'd be okay with either one of those. I think the time travel thing would probably work a little better. Uh, because it would fit, like, the style of Terraria. You know, like, having time travel. Like, time travel seems like it would fit into Terraria's, like, kind of narrative perfectly. Like, I could totally imagine, like, a time travel machine in this game. Something that would take you, like, like 30, 40 hours to collect all the parts to make. But once you make it, man... You can time travel. Maybe it would look like a DeLorean. <laughs> Alright, sun is almost setting. It's it's kind of like dusk out now. This arena took probably about like an hour and a half, two hours to build. Um, I built it over sand because the thing about sand is uh, gravity works on it. So I knew that there would be no gaps for any enemies to spawn in if I built it over the sand. And that's good uh, because if there's like caverns underneath, then enemies spawn down there in the caverns instead of in the arena. So... If you're going to build an arena like this, build it over sand. Just be careful not to uh, dig out the sand underneath it. It's all built with stuff that I got from the temple. I mean, you can probably tell that, right? The jungle temple. It has that kind of jungle temple aesthetic. Yeah. Let's kind of just peruse our inventory one more time. 
Everything looks good. We got our four weapons here. We don't really need that up there. And we gotta remember to re-equip this warding charm of myths where I have the Clother Voodoo doll after the uh, Skeletron fight. I'll wait till we see zombies, because that's our our sure sign that it's nighttime. I like our little tower here. I uh got a nice design to it. I, I, I admit, like, uh, during the previous episode when I was building it, about halfway through I'm like, eh, I don't know if this is working for me. But after I finished it and got it all, like, uh, you know, built up and decorated and everything, it looks pretty good, man. I'm, I'm kind of into it. I like that it's, like, sunken in that valley. I think that's kind of a cool thing. And then you got this pass-through here with these, uh, these bridges here. It's pretty cool. I, I really like it. I thought it would be kind of cool to kind of uh, embed some lighting inside the cavern walls. It looks pretty good. I like the design of this tower too. I think if I was if I was going to make like a more traditional castle in like another playthrough. I think this is exactly how I would design my castle towers. Like, I probably wouldn't change a thing. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so we got zombies. Let's do this. Oh no, it's Skeletrons! This guy's gonna take like two seconds to kill. There he is. Done. So that was ceremonious at best. All right, now, one more thing to do, and you know what it is. One, two, and three. Let's do this again. The twins, the twins are the most dangerous thing f uh, in this whole, uh, this whole scene, you know? Get some debuff action. More rainbow action. Oh, that's hitting everybody good. Oh, I love that. Love the sound of all that damage taken away. So I'm kind of focusing on the twins because I really want to take them out first because they're the most, they're the biggest threat to me. Especially spasmatism.
Oh, that hurts. I mean, my health is actually doing okay, but like, I know that this... This is a tenuous at best. <laughs> Ouch. Alright, one of the twins down. Of course, the difficult one is the one that still lives. Didn't want to go underneath this stuff. Almost got that second twin. Ouch. All right, got the twins out. Got the destroyer out. Back to back, man. Just gotta take this guy out. Get our souls. This guy's got one limb left in the head. See the moon creeping off the right side of the screen? Gotta make sure we kill this guy before it's before uh, before morning, or he'll despawn. Come on! There you go. That was the uh, the Manleth Operation finale. That was episode 36 of the Manleth Operation. It's been a long, <laughs> a long trip, man. I've been doing a episode a week of this for uh, more than half a year. So it's been a long, long road. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to commit to... Uh, to saying that I'll that I'm not streaming Terraria anymore. Uh, Terraria is still a game that I'm going to be playing. I'll probably be playing it on and off for, frankly, as long as I can. I love this game. I don't really think I'm going to stop playing anytime soon. And when 1.3 comes out, uh, I'll, I'll revisit the idea of doing uh, another set of episodes for 1.3. But for the meantime. This is the final episode. So, uh... I don't think there's a better place to sign off... ...than our house. So let's go back to our house. And we'll go up to our, uh... ...our conical ceiling, our conical roof. Like we've done a few times before. And just like we started the episode, we'll finish the episode with, uh... Peering out over over all of all that we've done, looking out over the landscape and 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 looking to the west and the east and just seeing everything that we've accomplished, and uh, calling it a night. So thanks for watching Normal Game Couch. See you next time.